Hello and welcome to the Martini Shot and happy Halloween from your old pal John Wick. Halloween is almost here and you're most likely watching a lot of horror movies, right? That's all well and good, but if you are of the legal drinking age in your country, why not spice up your night with a horror movie cocktail? In the three years I've been doing the Martini Shot, I've made quite a few horror movie themed drinks, but today I'm gonna show you five of my favorite cocktails inspired by classic horror films that you can make yourself. Two of these I'll be remaking right here, but for the other three, I'll be using footage from past episodes, mostly because I like the way those were shot, but also so I'm not left with five cocktails I've got to finish by the end of the night. Good, let's go ahead and start with our first cocktail. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off this jacket before I completely ruin it. All right, let's start with our first horror film, Halloween. Named after what Michael Myers was credited as in the first Halloween, the shape is an encapsulation of Michael's tall, pale presence alongside his bloodthirsty tendencies. It's kind of like a boozy milkshake that can be made with whichever kind of milk or milk alternative you prefer. If you want to achieve the bloody rim I made, you can mix about one fourth cup of corn syrup and a few drops of red food dye, microwave that mixture for about 15 to 20 seconds, dip your glassware's rim into the mixture, turn it over and let it drip. I would recommend immediately throwing the glass into the fridge or freezer. That'll just help slow down the drip and make it harden a bit faster. Now for the actual drink itself, for your spirit, I've used both bourbon and rum before, so pick whichever you'd like and add two ounces. Followed by three ounces of milk, half an ounce of vanilla syrup, and half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. Shake that with ice and then strain it over some fresh ice in your prepared glass. It's creamy, sweet, and definitely boozy, making for a great fall drink. All right, I'm getting a bit thirsty, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a drink right here. Next up is the Leatherface, which is a smoky, spicy cocktail inspired by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I actually made this drink for the review of the 2022 film, but don't waste your time with that. Watch the original. The drink is inspired by the desolate desert setting of the original film, made with rye whiskey, pepper syrup, and smoked for added earthiness. In a rocks glass, you'll add half an ounce of hot pepper syrup, half an ounce of sweet vermouth, two ounces of rye whiskey, two dashes of Angostura bitters, and two dashes of orange bitters. Now to smoke the drink. You can do this with whatever smoking method you have available to you. Go ahead and feed the smoke into the glass and let it sit for about a minute. Then to garnish, you can use an orange peel and to really make it like Leatherface, I'm gonna cut out a little face. It's dry with a hint of sweetness while the spiciness and smoke make for a nice desert pairing. This is a strong one, so don't play around with these too much. For our next cocktail, we'll be looking at the blood in the water, which is inspired by Jaws. I feel like people tend to forget to include Jaws when we're talking about some of the greatest horror films of all time. I don't know if it's because it takes place during the day or what, but with this drink, you'll never forget the sight of sharks swimming around in bloody waters. For this, you'll need one ounce of coconut rum, one ounce of spiced rum, half an ounce of hypnotic, which for a while I kept pronouncing hypnotique for some reason, half an ounce of blue curacao, half an ounce of lemon juice, and half an ounce of lime juice. Shake with ice and then grab yourself a rocks glass. Pour a little bit of grenadine into the bottom of the glass, throw in some ice, and then strain your drink. Then you can garnish with a gummy shark or two. It's definitely a bit tropical for the season, but these classic flavor pairings cannot be denied. It's easy to drink and easy to get tipsy off of. Don't get seasick. So this next one is a very recent cocktail I did, but I wanted to show it off because I really like how it turned out. This is the Green Deceiver, which I made for the new Exorcist film, but just ignored that one and paired alongside the original film. I just rewatched it recently and yeah, it's one of the best horror movies ever made. For the Green Deceiver, you'll need one ounce of gin, one ounce of scotch, three fourths ounce of banana liqueur, half an ounce of half and half, half an ounce of lime juice, one teaspoon of matcha, and an egg white. Shake the mixture without ice for about 20 seconds to emulsify the egg white, then shake to chill. Strain it into a chilled coupe glass and then add a neat little dusting of nutmeg on top in the shape of a cross. It might seem like there's a lot going on here, but the flavors work very well together. The maltiness of the scotch is right at home with the earthiness of the matcha, while the banana and gin make minor appearances on the back palate. I'm not even a fan of matcha, and I think this is a great drink. Definitely fitting for one of the best horror films of all time. Now we've made it to our final cocktail, which I will be making right here. This is one of my favorite cocktails I've made in the past year, and it just so happens to be for my favorite horror franchise. This is the Sour of the Dead inspired by Evil Dead. For this, you'll need one and a half ounces of dark rum, one ounce of coffee liqueur, one fourth ounce of amaretto, half an ounce of cinnamon syrup, three fourths ounce of lemon juice, and one egg white. Same thing as the last drink, shake without ice first, then add ice and shake again. You'll need another stencil for this one, this time in the form of the Necronomicon's cover. Go ahead and use it with a little dusting of cinnamon. The final product is tart but rich with a sort of dessert complexion. 
The rum, coffee, and almond flavors really elevate one another, while the sour nature of the cocktail makes this something truly unique. Like I said, this is one of my favorites, and hopefully it'll be yours too. So there you go, five horror movie cocktails for your next watch party or just regular party. If you like what you saw here and wanna see more, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Also, be sure to check out my website, martinishot.blog for more movie reviews and movie themed cocktails. Until next time, thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Live deliciously, but please remember to drink responsibly and happy Halloween.